Come and have a chat, guys. Knowledge is free, Scientology is not. Recording, we are recording. Hello there, ma'am. Scientology, okay, uh, it was started in the 1950s by a science fiction writer. Uh, he's quoted saying the best way to make a million dollars is to start your own religion. Um, two years later, he, he then started the Church of Scientology. Um, it's not the belief system that we have a problem with, it's basically the crimes and illegal activities of the Church of Scientology. Um, when I say things like illegal uh, activities, I'm talking about child labour, human trafficking, slave labour, uh, extortion, fraud. Um, they, they brainwash their members. And when you're inside, you're convinced that without it, you'll amount to nothing, which is why a lot of people actually commit suicide when they manage to get out of the organisation. Uh, a lot of people on other circumstances have lost their lives. If you Google something like um, Lisa McPherson, this was a woman who basically they kept in a room with no food or water for 17 days. Um, and she lost her life as a result of this. Operation Snow White, when they were caught infiltrating the United States government. Um, the more you look into it, the more you sort of disgusted you'll get. They also have a disconnection policy that breaks up families uh, and friends as well. So let's say one of you two were to go into Scientology, and the other one then said, I'm a little worried about this, there's only way you can stop. The church would tell you to handle that person, and if you couldn't handle that person, the church would then instigate their disconnection policy. And there are thousands of cases out there spanning back decades, even today, where families cannot get in touch with people, they can't call them, they can't write, they can't contact them in any way, shape or form. Um, basically because the church has just said that these people are dangerous because they don't believe in it. Um, the more you look into it, the more the more sort of disgusted you'll get. But it, it's all out there, there's like, you know, thousands of stories of people who've been like held prisoner, chained to pipes, not allowed to leave. They have prison camps for their members, um, and the prison camps actually sound worse than a lot of the prisons I've, you know, seen on TV. So it's, I mean, by all means go in, by all means have a chat and have a look at their website, but, you know, as I say, it's not the belief system we've got a problem with, it's the, it's the abuses that they do to their members and people outside, and the illegal activities that the church actually commits itself. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Howdy. Ah, hello, hello. Hey. We have not broken the law, it's unethical to call the police. Wasting police time is not ethical. Please get this into your head. Scientology breaks up families and attacks their critics. Google Lisa McPherson. A woman they kept in a room. Well, the old man, who always calls the police on me, um, just pointed me out to the officer. The other Cylon looked across, saw me, and then the officer wrote something down. Chat to the public, and more police time wasted. <laughs> Hello. What have I done? I haven't broken the law. I've done nothing illegal. Hello. Uh, well, we're, what we're doing is we're protesting against the Church of Scientology. Yeah. Um, basically, Scientology is a criminal enterprise that tries to masquerade itself as a religion. What they'll do is they'll, they'll give you something very simple and innocent, like a free personality test or a, a free stress test. Whatever happens, the results will show that you have problems, at which point they then try to very heavily sell you books and courses and things like that. Um, the reasons to why we protest, we haven't got an issue with the belief system. People are free to believe what they want. It's the illegal activity and abuses that the church... Yes, they do. Well, they do quite a lot of things. I mean, the leader, um, the man by the name of David Miscavige, beats staff members, um, new, like sort of 22 people at least 50 occasions, and that was a few months ago, so God knows how many he's hit since then. He actually punches them in the face, which has prompted a lot of people to leave. Well, what's, what's the trouble with your Well, what... Quite a niche sort of... Yeah, no, no, sure. I mean, the thing is, there used to be sort of uh, what's known as the old guard, um, which were basically ex-Scientologists or very old time sort of critics. Um, we are part of a group known as Anonymous. What triggered Anonymous's interest was, I don't know if you've ever seen the Tom Cruise video, uh, where he talks, where he talks basically, it was like leaked from inside the church. He talks to us about Scientology, 10 minutes about basically nothing, just laughing like a maniac, making all these ridiculous claims. When that came out, Scientology has always had a history of basically attacking people who, and uh, harassing them. They will harass people, you know, just for the sake of basically causing them to lose money and shut up. When that video got leaked out, they tried to sue and sort of harass the website that was hosting it. This caught the attention of this internet-based group called Anonymous, who obviously weren't pleased that Scientology was trying
trying to uh, suppress free speech on the internet. So then what happened is, is that wasn't enough alone, uh, but they started to look into all the other abuses, the fair game policy, where basically the, anyone inside who, um, any Scientologist can attack, lie, sue or destroy by any means necessary, anyone who just speaks critical of Scientology. Um, they have a disconnection policy that breaks up families. So just, but, I mean, like, that's quite, I mean, they are a cult, but isn't that quite common at cults? So? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's obviously going to be some quite a few cults out there. Here's a card with a few things on it. Uh, Operation Snow White, when they were caught infiltrating the US government, Lisa McPherson, a woman they kept in a room with no food or water for 17 days. But so what's the their actual agenda then? Well, I, mean, I just thought it was just a bunch of crazy religious freaks. Yeah, well, that's, that's uh, not too far wrong. Um, yeah, no, basically, that, their agenda, it's quite hard to sort of say. They believe that basically they are the only salvation, they're the only hope from mankind. Without them, you know, the world will continue to have wars and insanity and all this stuff, and they want to sort of eliminate things like psychiatry and replace it with Scientology because they don't believe that you can do anything to the brain. It's all about spiritual healing. So their objective is basically to try and clear the entire planet um, in order to do that that everyone's going to have to come in and pay for all the courses to get to this state of clear. Um, but the thing is, I mean, the money that they they take in is is squandered on buildings. I mean, people are forced to donate massive amounts. If they don't donate enough, then they, you know, they, they get a lot of pressure put on them, a lot of sort of, and they're scared. People inside are very scared. They are not allowed to even Google Scientology, um, which is nuts, because, I mean, it's not like you're attaching any other word to, you know, Scientology. It's just Scientology itself, and they're not allowed to do it. Um, anything critical they're not allowed to read. Um, I mean, the more you look into it, the more that you know you'll get sort of, I think, sort of quite appalled by what they're doing. Oh, I'm filming the, the cop because they've called the police for no apparent reason. Yeah. They're Scientologists. Seriously? Yeah. Well, is that why you're wearing masks? Well, we, we wear our masks basically to hide our identity. Um, as I said, the fair game policy. Um, you know, it's, it's not something that any one of us would want to sort of go through, um, and it's something that they have to, sort of, you know, harass people decades and decades in the most horrible ways. Uh, Operation Freak Out, um, you know, many years ago, a woman was basically just writing a book about um, Scientology. Um, that was all she was doing, and basically they decided the objective of Operation Freak Out was to either have her imprisoned, drive her out of her mind, and make commit, or make her commit suicide. So. Yeah. No, that's all right. I mean, by all means, go and you know, go on their website and sort of uh, stuff like that. But um, it, as I say, people can do whatever they want. I just think it's important that people are aware of what does go on inside the organisation. And not everyone sees it. I mean, I'm, I mean, we have Scientologists who practice Scientology outside of the church and protest alongside us. And this guy used to work in there, and he, he never really saw this kind of abuse. But then when he started to travel around the world, he met lots of ex-members who had. So. You know, oh, as I say, just, just look into it for yourself and, uh, you know, make your own mind up. And if you agree with what we're saying, the best thing to do is just tell your friends, tell your family. Um, just because it's ignorance. That's how they get people in. So, yeah, all right. Take care of yourself. You know, the clock coming.